In this task, you're going to load and stylize the data that will be used to design a map of the lower 48 states of the United States of America. We're going to focus on selecting the fill colors of the states and the line color and thickness for the state boundaries in this task. So first start QGIS 2.2.0 and we're going to add the USA States area dot shape to the project by either clicking the add vector button here or clicking vector uh, add vector layer from the menu bar and then I'm going to click browser and I'm going to find the data on my hard drive. and add that to the map. <clears throat> uh, once it's added to the map I'm going to zoom in to the lower 48 <clears throat> excuse me, very closely uh, without having any of it clipped off of the screen so something like this looks pretty reasonable. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make each state a unique color and we're going to make it a set of uh, nice uh, c playful uh, colors and so I'm going to open up the properties and click the style tab and then choose the categorized as the type of uh, symbolization that we're going to use. Uh, next I'm going to choose name since I know that name is going to be a, a unique uh, value for each state. So let me find name, there we go. And for the color ramp I'm going to choose spectral. So let's find that here. There it is. And now I'm going to click classify. Now when I click classify what it's going to do is it's going to assign a unique color to each one of the unique values. So since we have uh, 50 states plus the District of Columbia, 51 uh, objects, it assigns 51 distinct colors. And so when I click OK you can see that we have a nice colorful map of the US. Um, however, uh, there are a few things that we need to take care of. Uh, first, while the black state outlines are generally reasonable, uh, they could be thickened a little to really set each state apart and make each state's color pop. Secondly, there's multiple instances of neighboring states that share too similar of a color. and This is a problem because neighboring states of similar color may be perceived as a single state or a pattern may be perceived to exist where none exist. Where none exist. So we should change the colors to avoid um, both of those problems. And third, the red colors tend to dominate the map and distract the eye towards a few states too much. If the reds were used on smaller states, it may not be as distracting. However, in our case, some of the larger states really have too strong of a red color. So we're going to need to tone down those reds to bring them into parity with the other colors on the map. And fourth and finally, the map is not projected to a reasonable map projection for the purposes of this map. However, we're going to defer dealing with that problem until lab two, where we're going to choose an appropriate map projection. So with that being said, let's get started with choosing a new line thickness for the state outlines. So I'm going to go back to the layer properties by right clicking on it in the layers list and then selecting properties and then going back to the style tab. I'm then going to choose the change button for the symbol and I'm going to choose simple fill. Now from the simple fill I have access to the border width so I'm going to change the border width to 0.4 millimeters. I'm then going to click OK and that's going to set those so real quick I'll show you I'll hit OK again and you can see that the outlines are a little bit thicker and I think the colors pop just a little bit more. So now that the state outlines look good, let's deal with the neighboring states with similar colors and with the very red states. So there are five states that we're going to uh, change the color of, Illinois, Florida, New York, Alabama, and uh, Arizona. And so let's get started with that by again going back to the style properties. And uh, I'm going to consider the states bordering Illinois first. Uh, so they are of similar color and since there's no green state close to Illinois, so let me move it out of the way here, you can see there's no green state close to Illinois. What we're going to do is we're going to change Illinois' color to the same color as Texas since Texas is a nice color green that doesn't show up anywhere near Illinois. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find Texas in the classification list here. There we go. And I'm going to double click on Texas's symbol and I'm going to click on color and note that the uh, red, green, blue value are 123, 187, and 172 respectively. So we're going to use those values to make Illinois the same color as Texas. So I'm going to close the select color dialogs. I'm going to go back up to Illinois, double click on its symbol, and I'm going to then click color and I'm going to set its values to the same as Texas. So again 123, 187, and 172. I'm going to hit enter 
hit OK. And now you can see that Illinois is green and the same color of Texas. So when I hit apply, you'll see that Illinois now doesn't look the same as its neighbors. All right, so now that Illinois is a different color, uh, uh, what I want you to do is I want you to use the same steps above and change the colors of Florida, New York, Alabama, and Arizona to other complementary colors that's gonna reduce the brightness of the red states and remove the homogenous colors in neighboring states. So um, I'm going to make those changes and kind of show you an example of what uh, that, sh that would look like when you complete those steps. And so here we are back with an example of what these states could look like. So I have changed uh, Florida, New York, Alabama, and Arizona all to different colors uh, because they were all so red and distracting or they were similar in colors to their surrounding states.